did, and today we're making a rabbit. Um, so first, no matter what, you must have a good square piece of paper. If you don't have one, then you can get a regular piece of rectangular paper and make one. So first, you get your piece and you flip it over on its side. And you have to make sure that the creases, you have to line it up to the bottom. Then you have to crease it really tight, otherwise it won't stay. And it'll just make the whole thing ruined. And so if you need any help, you can ask an adult to get it nice and tight. Once you do that, uh, you can get a pencil to make it easier. And you can make it, and you can bring it down on the line so it's easier to cut it. And then, and then you actually have to cut it, you know? So take it, take your scissors. Hmm? And so if you would like, you can open it up and to make it, so you can make it easier. Then just cut along the line. I was a little off, but I think that's okay. Um, so you have a rectangle and a square. You put the rectangle aside, and then you've got your square. You want to have a lot of space for this part because you're actually going to start folding. So if you need to, you can go ahead and pause it. Um, first, you have to turn the square so it looks like a diamond shape. And for and if you haven't already, fold the top corner to the lower corner, then unfold it. Uh, fold the top corner to the center and the bottom corner to the center like this. You have to push it all the way down to the line and try to make it as center as you can. And yet again, if you need help making it net, the crease nice and tight, you can ask a parent. And do it on the other side. It's okay if it's off by just a little bit, but it can't be off by too much, otherwise it just won't work. Like this. It's not that far. It's really, it's not that far. Um, fold the right corner to the left, just like this. And if at any point you can pause, by the way. Fold the inner or right corner to the right, wait, yeah. To the right, like this, over to here. And now just flip it over, and now you have to fold the left corner to the right side, just like this. Uh, second. And this one, this crease is kind of hard, so I recommend that you get a pair of ten ways. And for the top corner, oh wait, uh, flip it over. And if you, wait, flip it over if you'd like to make it easier. But, but when it's like this, for the top corner behind the paper to the bottom corner. And just to make it easier, flip it over. Put it down here, or up here, however you guys want to say it. Okay, so you flip it over, it kind of it looks like a rabbit. Now you just pull the top up. Oops, sorry. And don't forget to keep it down on the table so you can push it down. And there's your rabbit, or well, kind of. And then if, oh, you should probably get a parent for this, but down the middle of the ears, 
you can take your scissors and cut it well you're supposed to um, take your scissors and cut it down the middle so they're actually like separate ears uh, wait to pull the rabbit ears out you just have to pull it up sorry I didn't I forgot to mention that and you have to crease it down um, and now you just draw an eye Um, a nose, if you'd like, and maybe even some whiskers, if you really want to, and then if you want to be really detailed, you can go on the other side, too, to do it. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at this. And then, there you go. You're all done. And if you want it stamped, just put it down, make sure it's separate, and it should stand. Yeah. So there you have it. The tail, the ears, the eyes, nose and whiskers, and then just the body. And so, here are your two rabbits, if you make two rabbits. And you don't have to use those same colors. You can use different colors if you'd like. You can make it any color you want. You could even make it purple, if you'd like. But I just use these colors because they're nice and bright. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Today we made the paper, the paper rabbits um again thank you for watching don't forget to destroy the subscribe button but not literally because that would be terrible um and don't forget to press the like button and tell me don't forget to comment to tell us which which animal you want to make next or the fortune teller in the back that kind of looks like a flower because that's not an animal you know and uh thank you for watching Bye-bye.